So before we added the functionality for inserting something in our database, now we need the functionality for deleting something in the database. So to delete something, we will have to use the SQL statement called delete. So let's try to go here from, if we look at the database right now, I have three IDs. I have uh, three uh, entries in my database. I have Joe and two Kenneth. Um, so we would like to delete one of these Kenneth because we, we don't need two Kenneth right now because it was a problem or it was a mistake before when we added them. So to delete something, we will have to write delete from high score scores where play ID equals um, let's remove number four where play ID is four. I think I need to do like this and then I can run it. So basically what I'm doing, I'm trying to delete from high scores, which is this uh, table out here, where to, to find the correct um, row, the play ID is equal to four here. And the reason that we're using the play ID and not the name is that there are more Kenneth here. And if we not we're not using a unique identifier well then we can delete more records and that's not intended and we can't use the score because more, if more people has 10 score well then we're going to delete more people with um, at, at the time so the only unique identifier we have is the player id so we're going to use the player id here i run the code then i'm going to cut this and say select all from high scores boom and then we only have two records. We have number one and number two play ID here. So now we need to translate this into some C sharp code. So let's jump into our code here and create a new function. And this function, let's just call it delete uh, score. So private void delete score. And we just figured out before that we actually need an ID to delete something. So we will have to um, create an integer and code ID here as the parameter and then we have to write the code basically the same way as we wrote the code up here um, in the insert score so I can just paste this one so that I have the correct statement here and then I can copy paste the code from my insert score just paste it down here and then we will have to change the statement in here the string that format to this up here so we can just take this and cut it and then paste it right in here and then instead of the name we'll have to use the id so to replace name with id and delete the new score and then we'll have to add these escape characters again and we'll have to ask it for the id there we go so delete from high scores where the player id is equal to uh, not IDs, of course, <laughs> zero, so that it takes the ID here and places replaces the zero. Okay, um, let's give it a go. Which one do you want to delete? Let's try to delete uh, number two here from, from the high score list. And remember, this ID has nothing to do with rank. It has nothing to do with the, um, anything with the high scores ranking or anything. It's simply just an ID we use to identify. So. Uh, if I insert something new, it's going to have the number five or something. So we are going to have one, two, and five, and it doesn't matter because um, it's auto incremented, and the the play ID will always be one higher. So it's never gonna going to go back and refill those gaps we have. So don't get confused if you have some weird numbers out here. Uh, the only thing that is important is that they are unique. Well, well we we need to test this so let's delete number two so we need to open a C sharp project somewhere there um, let's just say delete delete score and we're going to take number two there so let's save this and if we run the game go and we have an XQL exception. Let's see what error we have. I wrote something wrong in here apparently. Delete from high scores where player ID is equal to ID. 
Let's just try to use this instead actually, instead of those hello graphs. Let's just try to use these. Um, ah, okay, I can see what the error here is. <laughs> um, we don't need the end parentheses here, of course. Um, that's a big mistake. There we go, because I, I left the parentheses from uh, this one down here. And of course, we don't need that here. It just just overlooked it. So let's try to save and run it one more time. Let's see if it helps. And now we only have Joe with a hundred points. And let's try to check our manager here, select all from high scores. And there we go. So we only have Joe left now. So now we can also delete from our database. And the next thing we are going to do is to create a class for containing the high scores and the list for containing the high scores so that we can sort them um, so that we have a high score list with the correct order.